tail of the tape for this final fight, brought to you by Celsius Live Fit. Amanda Levy is 26 years old. Nana Senda Yush is five years older. She is also two inches taller, weighed in at the featherweight limit, so one pound heavier. A reach advantage on the arms, favoring Amanda Levy. They have identical leg reach. Let's go. Andrew Glenn will serve as referee for this main event fight. Senda Yush in the gray trunks, Amanda Levy, southpaw stance in the black, and right to it. Both of these women understand what has happened in the three fights before. They got the assignment. Nana Senda Yush needs to be careful when she trades. That chin is getting a little bit too high, offering up a big target to Amanda Levy, but. She's landing. Yeah, she's definitely landing. Levy now closes the distance, presses Nana Senda Yush back against the barrier. You don't want to give Nana an underhook, I can tell you. Oh, head and arms coming. She's trying for it. Nana's trying for it. Levy gets her hips in, negates for now. Tries a knee up the middle. Oh, there's that head and arm throw Kayla you were calling for. The it, cage got in the way, but she gets it anyway. It is a little bit dangerous in MMA. You, you risk take getting your back taken, and you also don't have an underhook when you end up on the ground. And Amanda Levy is an excellent jiu-jitsu competitor. You know that she is already searching. That far leg goes over mm -hmm. and grabs the hook. She'll look to pull her head out and get on the back. Yep, she's gonna take her time here. Yeah, keep going, keep going. Good. Inch your way to the back. Hey, keep it, keep it, keep it, keep it, keep it. And keep using that. Beautiful hit. Yeah, we're risking trouble. Good awareness here by Nana Senda Yush, knowing that she has to keep a hold of that head and arm or surrender a, a bad position for herself. 90 seconds gone in the first round. Yeah, her best bet is gonna be try to re pummel, try to get yeah. that right arm, get that underhook, or see if she can sneak out into side control, remove that hook. No easy task. Both hooks in now. This is not bode well here for Nana Sindayush. She can also just turn in and go right back to guard. She doesn't have to stay inside. She didn't have to stay in sight control. Nana could have just gone back to guard, got comfortable, and moved, moved to a better position from there. Big scoop back. Big scoop back. Paige Van Zandt looks like this one's going to be a grappling exchange here to start. What do you think? Honestly, I, I mean, it's it's a battle Good. between two yeah, different yeah, styles. Yeah, Both yeah. of them extremely accomplished, one in judo, one in jiu-jitsu. Uh, it's a battle style here, yeah. and I think we all could anticipate that this was going to go to the ground some way or another. Randy Couture, what do you want to see Amanda Levy do to get her head out of that head and arm? Yeah, she's really got a brace on the head of Sendayush and try and get her head out of there, and she's done that just now. I was impressed with Sendayush's hand. She came out hard. Not afraid to get in the pocket and throw her hands. The headlock, as Kayla alluded to, it can be a risky technique in, in mixed martial arts. Tyron Woodley, I'm going to give you the opposite. How are you coaching Nana Senda Yush to get off of this body lock and get Amanda Levy off her back? First thing first, she has to cover her neck. She has to reach inside and make sure that that does not go across to set up the choke. They both came out understanding that the fights before were action packed. They came out with that same type of energy, but right now in a situation where she has to make sure her neck does not get hit with the red neck control and try to press um, Amanda against the cage if possible to try to alleviate some of that pressure. And Parker, the second half of your parlay uh, is right now on the back and squeezing Nana Sende you. What do you think? I think I like it. I think this is exactly where Amanda Levy wants to be. You know, the head and arm choke was a good throw, but once she got there, she just held it and she gave Levy all the time in the world to get position, take the back. I think it's just going to be a matter of time. If she doesn't get the finish here, I think Nana might have even burned her arms out trying to squeeze with no position behind it. I think Levy's going to win this pretty easily throughout the rest of the fight. Ian doesn't hey, know good. Got one minute to work one minute. <laughs> well, I was going to say, him. He it, knows not. you know, even with the gi, even with a kimono on, it can be very difficult to finish that choke from the back against a high-level judoka. And right now, Nana Sendai is doing a good job keeping her elbows crossed, keeping that neck protected. And it looks like so far she's tough enough to not tap out the strikes from this position. Yeah, she, wanna try to, she wants to try to, to, to fall onto the side where Amanda has her legs crossed, get her back onto the mat and start slowly inching her hips 
worked out. Yep. Uh, but it seems like Amanda's doing a really good job of keeping control here. Not only does Amanda Levy have that figure four lock with her legs, but she's also got the, the far leg laced through with the instep. Yeah. So mm -hmm. just a real lockdown position, negating any sort of escape that Nana Senda Yush can try to put together here. Good work by the Mongolian to keep her neck protected, but Amanda Levy doing a lot of work from the back, peppering with those strikes. We will, however, see a second round when we return on Fubo Sports. You ready? You ready? Sean O'Connell, Kenny Florian, and Kayla Harrison. Guest announcing, and right back to the action here. Amanda Levy steps in. And Nana just kind of bites down and, and, and sits on that that back leg and throws, you know? She's not a lot of head movement, not a lot of footwork, but <laughs> she's gonna throw if you're coming in. She is tough, man. Got a chin for sure, and that right hand also is something to be respected as well. Yep, there it landed again. Landed it a couple times already here in the second round. Amanda Levy is the aggressor, but counter-striking from Nana has been effective. Yeah, I think Amanda's better off taking her time, fainting, picking her shots, and, and let oh, oh big nice left nice hook. hook. Letting Nana come forward. You know, she she clearly won that. Oh, high kick there, and it walks her right into a right hand. Amanda Levy showing some versatility here. Oh, another right hand from Good Nana. Ends. Levy trying to close the distance and press Senda Yusha against the cage. That's how she initiated the ground sequence in the first round. Hematoma starting to form around the right eye of Nana Senda Yusha. That right hand comes like a fastball from Cinda Yush every time Amanda Levy closes the distance. I, I yeah. think Amanda's kind of starting to catch on, though. I think she's, she's starting to realize that's, that's really all she's throwing at this point. In and out, in and out. Yeah, I'd like to see Amanda throw a feint, do something yeah. to kind of mm -hmm. take the timing away from Cinda Yush. There's another right hand. Even feint the takedown, right. level. Good three-punch combination there from Levy. Finishes on the body of Nana Senda Yush. Tyron Woodley, Levy's corner is asking her to get into rhythm. Are you seeing her listen? You know, I think this is the blessing in disguise. The first round was definitely one when she was close to getting submission, but if you look at the three, three fights before, you've seen the activity. So them starting back on their feet gives another opportunity to try to finish with a KO or knockout finish. If you're looking at Nana right now, she's throwing that right hand with everything she got, and she knows she has to because the first round she spent a lot of time um, on the canvas. So I think it's a blessing in disguise they started back on their feet. Paige, we're seeing Amanda Levy, the grappling specialist, as we like to call her, put some striking on display. What would you like to see her on court combination-wise? Uh, she absolutely is. I think she needs to utilize her footwork a little bit more like she is. When she's moving in and out, that's where she's catching her, not moving straight forward, running into that right hand, and that's where it's a little bit more dangerous. The footwork is going to play into her favor, and she can open up a little bit more. Ooh. Randy, here we see Senda Yush rushing forward. I think the onus is on her right now to try and turn the tide in this fight. How does she do it? Uh, Senda Yush is a little wild with her punches, but sometimes that's unorthodox. You don't see things coming from the right places or the places you're used to seeing them. I would like to see Levy set up and transition, set her up and take her down. Her combinations she's showing, she's got good punching combinations, but use those punching combinations to change levels, follow through, and take Senda Yush to the mat again. Big left hook and follows it up with a right hand. Ian Parker is a, Amanda Levy pulling away in this fight in the second round. You know what? The problem is she's giving Nana every opportunity with that right hand. I kind of like what Paige said, in and out. And if Amanda Levy's going to sit here and strike, and you want to take away the power of Nana, throw some calf kicks, get that inside leg kick, and then go for the takedown. Once she gets her down, that's her world. I think Levy's going to win, but she's giving Nana every opportunity to get a knockout. Those are big punches landing for Nana Senda Yush, and now Amanda Levy grabs a hold to try and stop the onslaught. Good combo there from Levy, another left hand. And judo girls are tough. 
No question about that. And, and you know, the advantage for Nana Sendayush is she has the ability to decide if this stays on the feet or not because of that judo background. So she's forcing Amanda Levy to kind of be a little bit uncomfortable, yeah. I mean, right? I mean, Absolutely. keeping her on the feet. Absolutely. Tell you what, Levy is starting to land some one twos. The left hand finding its range. She goes to the body this time. Ooh, that it's been precision versus power here in the second round. We may just see a third for the first time tonight as the final 10 seconds tick away. Third and final frame when we return on Fubo Sports. Sean O'Connell, Kenny Florian, Kayla Harrison taking over the booth. You just, you just sit down and dominate everything that you, everywhere you show up. I try to. I try. I do my best. Amanda Levy in the black. Nana Sendayush in the gray. I'm impressed with Amanda's uh, conditioning. You know, she looks absolutely phenomenal. I know she's fought a little bit at 135. I know she's mixed it up in jiu-jitsu tournaments and all different weight classes, but this this may be her spot, 145. She looks great. Yeah, and, and again, this is, you know, only her second professional mixed martial arts mm -hmm. fight. To have this level of composure and toughness is uh, very impressive. 26 years old. This is the yeah. future, I'm telling you. The ladies. Slanging and banging. Yeah, oh, now Sindayush landing some big shots here. Tell you what, Amanda Oh, Levy. that chin came up on that one. Oh, and there's a flurry again. This has been a great fight back and forth, guys. Oh. Amanda Levy, oh. left hand. Levy's corner calling for Cowboy. I want to know what a Cowboy is. Do it. <laughs> I do love the composure of Amanda, really. She's, she's yeah. shown a lot of fight IQ. She's in, she's out. That first round started a little little crazy, then she was able to get to the back, and really these last two rounds, she's dominated. I mean, uh, Sindayush has gotten a couple wild punches in here, but for the most part, this has been all Amanda. You can see the uh, K-Genomics stats there. Levy throwing nearly double, more than double. Landing. More than triple. Oh. Tyron Woodley, we're seeing really good things from Amanda Levy. What does she need to do to get a finish? You know what, I, I gotta second Kayla, she's showing a lot of composure. She's going high, she's going low. She knows standing in front of Nana is not a good idea. Look at that right hand, they got a lot of steam on there. Nana, as she's learning, she's going in, the, in this cage. She's gonna develop the skills that she needs to put that power in the right place. Her head's a little bit high, she's giving her a big target, but I think Levy's just is showing her conditioning, she's showing her well-roundedness, and she just gotta keep trying forward. Randy, you're one part of our celebrity panel. You're one third of the vote, at least. We've seen three finishes. Can a submission, or excuse me, a decision victory with a, the proper skill set sway you in the favor of someone like Amanda Levy? Well, I'm very impressed with everything that Amanda Levy's done in this cage this evening. I'm not sure that going the distance is going to get it done for the PFL and the contract nod. She's very precise. This is strategic uh, precision in her tactics and techniques. Again, I'd like to see that transition and see her put this fight on the ground, but she, I think she wants to show her skills in this realm, in this part of the fight. Oh. Nana Sendayush grabs a body lock here. Kayla Harrison, put yourself in the, the seat of a judge since you're willing to do everything here. For the <laughs> how, how are you scoring this fight so far? Oh! oh. Uh, no, I mean, I, I think that Amanda's pulled away. You know, I think um, Sindai has, has shown a lot of toughness. I think that she she has power. She has the ability to, to have a future in MMA, but um, Amanda's the more composed. She's the one landing more shots. She's in, she's out. She Her conditioning looks better. I mean, I think um, Amanda's pulled away on this, on this uh, fight. Just got to stay smart, stay sharp. You know, a minute and a half left now. Kenny, you always use this phrase that I'm not super familiar with and I barely understand, but you say defensive discipline. And, <laughs> yes. and, and Levy has eaten a lot of strikes and big yeah. time power strikes. Yeah, no, no question about it. Listen, obviously I, I thought round one was a pretty clear for Amanda Levy. 
second round, guys, I, you know, there were some great exchanges for, for both. And when it's that close, you never know what the judge is going to see. However, I agree with Kayla that in round three, Amanda Levy is starting to take over a little bit more precise. She's leading with that jab, but just throwing Sebayush off, off balance. Ian Parker, inside of one minute remains. Are you confident that your parlay is going to cash? Oh, you know, I would normally agree with Kayla, but she made fun of me. But regardless, Amanda Levy is showing some really great skills here. She's going to get the win. She doesn't get the contract. I think she'll be in the PFL one day. Absolutely. Thank you, sir. Final 30 seconds here. Amanda Levy goes to the body again, and another big left hand from the southpaw. Understanding the situation, time running out. She ate a right hand there, but Nana Simayush just shakes it off. Yes, she does. <laughs> Both of these women are just eating big power shots. Oh, final few seconds, Baby. swinging away, and there is the final bell. All right, and Sean is in the cage with the official decision. After three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards, and all three judges score the bout 29. 28 for your winner by unanimous decision, Amanda Levy. All right, Amanda Levy, congratulations. Victorious again inside of the PFL cage. We saw you in 2021 in a showcase bout. How was the Challenger Series performance or experience different for you? Um, it was pretty familiar to me. Um, they definitely do a great job here, and they make us feel like real, real professionals that we are. So I'm, I'm just happy to be here. Did you feel pressure coming into this fight, knowing what had happened in the first three fights of the night, three ladies with finishes? It's not just the competition in front of you with Nana Senda Yush. It's also trying to win a contract over three people who got a finish. Um, no, I wasn't pressured, I would say. Um, I know I look great, I feel great, and I am great, so that's all that matters to me. All right, to our celebrity panel we go real quick. Randy Couture, look, it wasn't a finish, but we saw a little bit of everything from Amanda Levy here tonight. Amanda Levy did a great job tonight. In the face of some raw power and aggression, you stayed composed, you were precise, you knew exactly where you needed to be in every second of this fight. It was very impressive. Tyron Woodley, what do you think of the strategy? Amanda, I love your cardio. I love your conditioning. I love the fact that your IQ is very high. You made those adjustments. You didn't just stand in front of that right hand, and you kept looking for the finish. And you talking, not even breathing hard right now. And Paige Van Zant, you've got to be one third of this extremely. celebrity panel vote. What do you think? Oh yeah, extremely impressive. I mean, looking at you now, you're not even breathing hard. You went for the finish every second of the fight. So um, I I'm thoroughly impressed. Amanda Levy still undefeated.